Hi, I'm Annie Cameron. I'm 72 years young. I was diagnosed early this year with Parkinson's disease and I've been in denial ever since. Parkinson's disease is progressive. It causes a deterioration in the brain that affects a person's control of their body movements. I'm interested to see how she's living with it. Oh, hello! Oh, hi, hi Annie. Annie. Come in. Who's that? That's Senior Sergeant Toots. Oh, I love Senior Sergeant Toots. Annie worked as a nurse right up until the time of her diagnosis last year. It was these three fingers that started trembling and I went to see my GP about something else and I said, you know, these fingers are trembling. Mm. Do you think it could be Parkinson's? Oh, no. And she sent me to an MS specialist. Oh, gosh. Having nursed Parkinson's patients in the past scared the shit out of me. Yeah. It's early stages, so I want to keep it at the early stages. Yeah. Annie, why did you want to get involved in this experiment? Just the opportunity to get fit, yep. learn new dance steps and have fun. Keep as fit. ScoMo would say, having a go. When you have a go, you get a go. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought you'd be quoting ScoMo. <laughs> no, <laughs> nor did I. <laughs> in the spirit of having a go, Annie's agreed to come with me to check out a dance group specifically for people with Parkinson's. There's a long established history of using dance and movement to counter the effects of the disease. Are you familiar with the class? Yes. You'll also meet quite a few people who are at different stages mm -hmm. of, of their Parkinson's. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? You okay? I'm not sure actually. I think so. Yeah, all right. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go dance. Okay. Good work, guys. Kathy Goss, another ex-professional dancer, runs the group. Big breath to finish. So Dance for Parkinson started in America in 2001. Oh, nice work, you guys. It's quite fluffy, isn't it? In Australia, we've been uh, providing dance classes since 2013. Looking on is Natalie Allen, a specialist in neurological physiotherapy with a special interest in Parkinson's. About one in 500 people have Parkinson's disease, generally speaking, but if you're looking at people over the age of 65, it's relatively common with about one in 100 people. So if you're not comfortable to leave your chair, please stay behind your chair. There's a variety of physical, cognitive and emotional symptoms that go along with the condition. But in particular, there's a group of cells deep within the brain called the basal ganglia that start to die off. So because those cells are dying off, it means the basal ganglia is not working as well as it should. And the basal ganglia is like a control centre for the brain. So when it's not working as well as it should, you start to have problems with people having difficulty controlling their movements, having difficulty making automatic movements, and also problems with their thinking and their mood. I have seen improvements from people dancing and people exercising. There's research now that shows that exercise can actually help to slow that disease progression. The thing with dance is because people dance to music, then the rhythm of the music helps people to, with Parkinson's to move more freely and easily. Uh, because the thing about having a rhythm with Parkinson's really helps to cue people into their movements and helps them to move because it helps them to use different areas of their brain um, that are not so affected by the Parkinson's disease. We do notice distinct differences in balance and gait and strength and things like that. And just the general well-being is, is greatly improved. Now, dance can't claim to cure Parkinson's, but evidence suggests it has real physical and mental benefits. Do you think this is something you'd like to do moving yeah, forward? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Felt really good, didn't it? It sure did. They are very good. And, and how were you? I mean, I know you've, you've said you shit scared about your diagnosis. And to see people in the room with the same diagnosis, how did that make you feel? Did you feel...? No, I didn't feel anything. Didn't feel anything. 
I was concentrating on too much. Step right. Well, that's the most important thing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah.